Back in the day, you used to go in a room where there was a desktop computer. Then we got a laptop that allowed us to move around with the room. Then you have the mobile phone. A glasses form factor residing on your head gives you body position independence. It's sunlight readable. It's secure. No one can see what you're seeing. And then it begins to blur your digital world and your real world. So the glasses form factor, natural evolution of how we interact with our surroundings. So these are augmented reality glasses, they're about two years old now, that were showcased at the Shanghai Auto Show okay. for Mini Cooper. Instead of you having to look and look down and look up again on where you're driving, you could just focus on the road and the information is there. What they also did was they put tiny cameras around the Mini Cooper and you could move your head and it activated those cameras, giving you x-ray vision. Our product is uh, based on three uh, fundamental pillars. The first one is cinema quality optics. Second was full integration. And third one is extreme mobility. As the product gets smaller, and as the po product becomes more immersive, we believe people will spend more and more with the device on. Here is our R&D lab. Okay. Different types of optical testing and uh, integration, all done here. This is our uh, EE R&D lab. Guys are testing you know, circuitry and bringing up new boards for next generation products. Over here we have our 3D printing capabilities. Over here is our machine shop. This is a class 100 clean room. Damn. So next time you're watching the Giants win the World Series, know that across the street there's a clean room. A lot of people wearing Crocs also. Yeah, exactly. This is a very sophisticated board technology. It's a 12-layer board with blind and buried vias. That's some of the most advanced processors made. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the processor and the power management IC and all the memory and all of the radios incorporated and designed right here by this team. We've created a whole API suite and an SDK on our site, Reddick OS SDK. Two, we also have a huge support site. So if you have questions, you have direct access to some of our software engineers to guide you and help you. And then third, we've released the alpha version of our app store, we call Reddick App Center. So we look forward to working with developers and optimizing their apps for our platform. Believe it or not, we actually have a mini pilot production line here in San Francisco. And the reason we did that was we want the, uh, the feedback cycle between the designers and the product to be very limited. Trying to explain augmented reality has been a little bit of a challenge. But now we say augmented reality is Snapchat. Augmented reality is Pokemon Go. But now instead of holding a device, instead of looking through a camera feed, it's happening in your real world. And it's really helped the conversation.